Welcome to the online demo of the Easy Guide 250 Light Bar Guidance System. The Easy Guide 250 Light Bar provides the best value for your money in an easy to use entry level guidance product. The Easy Guide 250 Light Bar has six buttons for quick and easy operation. The buttons on the left side of the screen are called the function buttons. When one of the function buttons is pressed, it performs the operation represented by the icon beside it. For example, the top function button opens a transparent information tab. Simply press the function button again to cycle to the next information tab. The icons to the right of the screen are called the action buttons. Use the up and down arrow buttons to cycle through the list of icons. Select the action you want and press the OK button to use it. Let's load the configuration menu so we can set up the light bar. The configuration icon is the one with a picture of a wrench on it. First, press the down arrow until the wrench is selected. It doesn't matter if you don't know what function the icons represent. Each time you select an icon, a description of its purpose appears at the bottom of the screen. That way you can be sure you're selecting the function you want. Now that you've selected the configuration icon, press the OK button to activate it. Now that you know how to operate the light bar, let's check out the configuration settings by selecting the System Setup section from the menu above. Let's see what happens when you turn on the light bar. When you plug the power cable into the cigarette lighter and press the top function button, the light bar is activated and the welcome screen appears. To move on, press the OK button. After the welcome screen is activated, the quick start wizard appears. The quick start wizard has several screens to help you set up the Easy Guide 250 light bar for the first time or change basic settings. By default, the wizard displays the settings you chose the last time you used the light bar. The first screen prompts you to select a language. While we're on the language screen, let's look at the icons that are available, because these icons appear on most of the menu screens. The function button at the top on the left of the screen lets us go back one screen. The function button in the middle displays a help window that describes the function of the currently displayed screen. The function button at the bottom exits the menu and takes you straight to the guidance screen. On the right of the screen, the up and down action icons let you scroll through the languages. And the OK button lets you select the current choice and takes you to the next screen. Next, the wizard asks you to choose the units you want to use, the antenna you're using, and asks if you want to see the wizard next time you turn on the light bar. You don't need to change these settings very often, so let's hide the wizard to keep it from appearing every startup. That will speed up the daily startup process. When you leave the wizard, the main guidance screen appears. If you need to change any settings later, you can easily access the wizard from the configuration menu. Another way that the light bar makes operations easier is its unique user modes. The light bar has two, easy mode and advanced mode. In Easy Mode, the configuration menus and guidance functions are simplified to quickly allow you to begin driving. This is useful if you just want to start working. However, in the Advanced Mode, experienced operators can access additional configuration menus and perform more complex functions like designating individual fields by name and exporting specific data. Now, to see how the Easy Guide 250 light bar works when you're in the field, click the Creating a Line link above. Okay, let's create a guidance line so we can work in the field. Here's the light bar in easy mode with the vehicle in the field displayed on screen. If you begin driving the vehicle, the vehicle image on screen matches your moves. There's currently no guidance line, so we need to create one. First, select Reset Guidance from the Action Icon list. When you reset guidance, you'll be prompted to enter important vehicle settings. These include the width of the implement, the amount of swath overlap or the skip between swaths that you want, 
and the distance that the implement is offset from the antenna. Now you need to select the pattern that you'll create in the field. The Easy Guide 250 system has several options to suit most field operations. The graphics on the screen show you how to drive each of the patterns so you can always maximize your time in the field. The new freeform guidance pattern provides the ultimate in guidance flexibility. It allows you to work in the different patterns and shapes that best fit the layout and contour of your field. Just drive. Freeform will automatically detect the nearest driven swath and guide you right beside it. Let's create a straight AB line. This is a straight line where we define the start and end points. The start point of the line is called the A point and the end point of the line is called the B point. Do you notice that the A action icon is now available? You just drive to the point where you want to start our line, which is usually at the edge of the field, and then we use the icon to set the A point. Then you drive to the other end of the line and press OK again to set the B point, which marks the other end of your line. This looks like a good spot. This is called the master line. Now that you have our line, the Easy Guide 250 system can provide guidance along this master line. Do you see how the guidance extends beyond the start and end points that we set? That's so we can align the vehicle after a turn and provide guidance on irregular field shapes where the field gets longer. Other guidance lines are based on this line. They appear as you drive toward them. To learn more, click the Guidance link above. Now that we have our AB line, the light bar can provide guidance. The light bar has 15 LEDs, and when the vehicle is exactly over the guidance line, the three green LEDs in the center are lit. When the vehicle is driven offline, the lit LEDs move to the left or right and become red. Here you can see the vehicle is drifting off the guidance line to the right. The further the vehicle moves offline, the further the red LEDs move from the center of the light bar. In addition, the Easy Guide 250 screen shows the position of your vehicle relative to the guidance line, and the status text in the top left corner of the screen shows the exact distance that the vehicle has moved off the guidance line. The light bar has two views. In easy mode, the light bar automatically changes between the views for you. The perspective view shows a three-dimensional view of the field. And the plan view shows a bird's eye view of the field. If you need to pause guidance, perhaps to refuel the vehicle or to stop for the night, you can use the pause function. If you select the pause action icon and then press OK, the position of your vehicle is marked on screen. The status text describes your distance and angle from the paused location so you can find your way back there. The pause position will remain even if you turn off the light bar. You can record the ground that you've covered. This lets you see if there are any skips or overlaps so you can remedy them before you leave the field. To turn on coverage logging, press the middle function button and press it again to turn it off. The nudge action icons let you move the guidance line if there has been obvious GPS position drift or to adjust your guidance line to compensate for an obstruction in the field. Now let's check out the features available in advanced mode by clicking the advanced mode link above. Up until now we've discussed features that are available in easy mode. The Easy Guide 250 system also has an advanced mode to provide experienced users more options. Let's change to advanced mode now. Select the configuration icon and press OK. The configuration menu appears. Do you see that you're currently in easy mode? OK, now you're in advanced mode. Let's go back to the configuration menu. Do you notice that more sub-menus are available now that you're in advanced mode? One of the advanced menus is System. From the System menu, you can configure the light bar display, 
set guidance options, change the GPS mode, enable radar output, restore the default settings, or configure the serial port settings. Remember, if you don't want to access these settings, you can run the light bar in easy mode and they'll be hidden. However, advanced mode gives you more freedom to set up the light bar the way you want it. For example, do you remember that in easy mode the light bar controls whether you see the perspective view or the plan view? In advanced mode, you control the view. A new action icon lets you control view mode and by selecting it you can change the view whenever you want. Let's keep looking at the advanced menus. The data management screen allows you to import and export field data or delete unwanted field data to free up memory. You can import or export the data to a USB drive that you plug into the back of the light bar and then save or manipulate the field data on an office computer. The Easy Steer menu lets you configure the Easy Steer system if one is attached to the light bar. This is explained in more detail in the next section. In the Status menu, you can review system information which can be useful for troubleshooting. For example, the GPS status menu shows the current GPS information. Whether you're new to GPS guidance or you're an experienced user, the EasyGuide 250 light bar guidance system will suit you. Now, to see how the system works with other Trimble agricultural products, click the Expanding Productivity link above. The EasyGuide 250 light bar guidance system works with other Trimble agricultural systems to further benefit your farming operations. Auto steering systems reduce driver fatigue and increase steering accuracy. The Easy Steer 500 system is an affordable assisted steering device which can be added to the EasyGuide 250 system. The Easy Steer 500 system uses a drive wheel that attaches to the vehicle steering wheel to provide sub-meter pass-to-pass hands-free guidance using free WAS or EGNOS corrections. The Easy Steer 500 system is easily installed and removed and provides a cost-effective way to make your time in the cab easier and more productive. When the Easy Steer 500 system is attached to the light bar, an Engage button appears on the main guidance screen. When we engage the system, it steers the vehicle toward the guidance line. In addition to adding extra Trimble Agricultural Systems to the EasyGuide 250 light bar, you can also upgrade its pass-to-pass -pass accuracy performance. For example, standard out-of-the-box WAS corrections will provide sub-meter accuracy, but later if you find that you want to increase the accuracy, you can buy an AG-15 antenna upgrade. The AG-15 antenna simply replaces the patch antenna on top of your vehicle and allows your light bar to achieve 6 to 8 inch pass to pass accuracy using WAS corrections. As the needs of your operation become more demanding, EasyGuide 250 is ready to grow with you to provide higher levels of accuracy or assisted steering to your farming operation. With its built-in GPS receiver and ease of use, the EasyGuide 250 system provides the most value of any entry-level light bar guidance system. For more information on the EasyGuide 250 light bar guidance system or any of the upgrade options, please contact your local reseller.